Hi, welcome back to my channel, Ju and here. <laughs> on the long comb turned Udo foundation this is the foundation we'll be trying so this foundation came out I believe in March this year let us just do some googling so according to the long comb website it says that the long comb turned Udo is a, a natural matte foundation buildable full coverage transverse sweat and humidity resistant waterproof up to 24 long 24 hour long wear according to a consumer study formulated without fragrance and mineral oils tested under dermatological control non-communogenic suitable for all skin types including sensitive and it is now infused with hyaluronic moringa seed girl the english is bamboozling me now infused with hyaluronic acid moringa seed extract vitamin e and prebiotics i read that one correctly so yeah so that is the foundation this foundation has been out since much i believe it retails for about four not 400 it retails for about 770 rand i think it depends on where you are buying it and this is the new formula just fyi i feel like my camera is skew let's fix that that's a bit better so the foundation retails for 770 rand and it's a pricey it's definitely one of the high-end foundations in life and I personally think it's worth it but let's get on with this review to see how I truly feel I haven't done this in so long but I'm so excited to just sit down and do some makeup so I'm starting with priming my skin I've already done my skin prep so I don't really feel like there's too much to put onto my skin or too much to do rather not too much to put so yeah and all my skincare well for the most part is hydrating so I think that's the result we are going to get with the foundation and just random but this is something new that I have found it's the rose care hydrating face mist mist with organic rose water from Nivea just spraying a few pumps of that and I'm gonna let it dry so I am a little bit generous with this foundation but I'm gonna start off by shaking it and putting one two pumps and then if we need more I will definitely add more so just an FYI I have been using this foundation for months now I just have not gotten the time to use it or review it here on the streets of YouTube but I can say that I really do enjoy this foundation but I will show you as we carry on why I like it and what's the tea about it so I haven't done my color correcting as you know I typically do I just apply the foundation so we can really see it on bare skin and how it acts on skin that is not prepped with color correctors or whatnot so as you can see, I'm going on with my foundation brush and I am just packing the foundation in like normal. I have a foundation routine or base routine. I'm really detailed on how I do my foundation and my method hasn't changed much ever since I have lost done that. brought you guys up close so you really see how it blends in so I have the foundation mostly concentrated on my cheeks 
and then the least product ended up here on my chin and I barely put any on my mouth and I just dragged it down a little but I'm pretty sure you can tell that it is blending pretty well it is hidden most of my dark spots that I have here due to like previous breakouts and even in the area where I typically need to color correct especially under here it is pretty well covered I have not done my forehead but yeah this foundation is the girl I am gonna add a little more because I did say that I am generous with the foundation but I'm gonna take the little more and go on my forehead and just continue on this area area so apply foundation to my forehead this lighting is all too light for me the foundation has kind of set on this side of my face so I'm gonna go in and add some more just to see how bold of it it is I'm actually gonna use a beauty sponge to add on here Just an FYI, if you don't know, I don't put much foundation on my nose and I don't do under my eye. But one thing I will do is here behind my ear and behind my... I look scary. <laughs> behind or oh, under my neck. Or on my neck. Like lower into my neck area. And this is the foundation. It looks beautiful as you can see I kind of look scary while the edges because of the lighting but I do want to let you know that in person it's pretty natural and definitely remember that foundation is manipulatable so this is one of those foundations where if it says it's matte it's a matte 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 like the Huda Beauty foundation this foundation is a foundation that you can definitely get to be more on the chewy side or to be more on the matte side depending on what product you use right now it is drying matte even though i used um that hydrating primer but i'm going to continue with the rest of my skincare routine and i'm going to use a hydrating spray so you will see it be a bit lighter and the more lived in the makeup is i feel like that's when the foundation tends to look its best so i'm going to continue with my skin routine or my base routine which will be my everyday simple routine that I do if I really just want to leave the house and I don't want to be taking a lot of time doing my makeup it's quarter to seven right now hopefully I'll be done within the next 20 minutes but I will show you my routine just to also see how other products layer on this foundation and as much as this foundation is pretty good, but I do need my color correcting concealer. Oh my gosh, the lighting is going to be a little all over the place because <laughs> I don't remember how this works. And also what the best lighting will be because it might be too yellow and I don't want that considering this is a foundation review. So I'm just blending the concealer where I applied it this is a step that I can never miss within my makeup routine regardless of what I'm using but I do think I need to invest in a more orangey color character because this one is just my skin tone and you know LA girl concealers I feel like they have that element of wanting to correct in them so that's why I use it but I definitely do think I need to find something that is more color correcty as in like orange orange you know I'm going on with a lighter concealer just to highlight my face even lighter concealer for the inner corners of my eye 
and I'm gonna start blending that out immediately. How have you guys been? I've actually missed filming for YouTube so much. It's just that being a student is not easy and I'll vlog and I'll sometimes feel like the vlogs are a best and I'll just never post the content. I'm actually thinking of just compiling most of the content that I've shot over the past few months and making it into like a life lately thing because if not then it's just wasted content and it's like I do want to share what's been happening but I just feel like it's not good enough you know not that it's not good enough but I didn't sh take enough content so I don't want to post a half done vlog I love a good like vlog that tells a story and I feel like my vlogs don't do that but if I have like a content dump I feel like that will make a bit more sense and also just give you perspective on what's been going on in my life that I've actually documented in the past few months. So let me know how you feel about that. If you, that's your vibe, if you don't mind that, then I'll definitely post that content and not have any content <laughs> wasted. But yeah, that's that's literally ha that's what I've been doing or what's been happening with me as for makeup I haven't actually gotten time to sit down and film a makeup video in so long and I do have the makeup ideas I have a whole note um thing on my phone with like makeup ideas like it's like makeup ideas for YouTube and I, I never get to it I never get time to sit down and just film for YouTube what I have been doing is like filming for TikTok because I think that's a, a bit more easier because it's so like I can just pull up my phone and I can do it especially if I'm like going out or something then it's just a little bit easier to film for TikTok than it is for YouTube and it's easier to edit also it's not as much work editing TikTok content as it is YouTube so I think that's just been the vibe and that's what's been going on so if you do want to see what's going what's what's been happening I'm not saying I've been con consistent on TikTok even or Instagram but there is a definitely more content there than there is on this app so if you don't follow me there yet definitely go give me a follow and see if you don't like what's there man i'm pretty sure you'll like it though just so you know it does say that this mist um intensively hydrates and primes and fixes makeup so um that's why uh, i do use it i mean skincare mists oftentimes can be used for makeup it's highly unlikely that you won't be able to use the mist that you use for your face on no makeup days for makeup days you know what I mean my concealer is kind of all over the place but I don't want to add anymore simply because I don't want my face feeling heavy because of concealer so I'm just gonna sit at this point and as you can see I've only applied concealer and foundation up to this point. I haven't applied cream contour simply because if I'm doing my face to be fast, I don't have time for that. I'll just apply bronzer and then reverse contour. That makes much more sense to me. The sponge I'm using helps me really apply a thin layer of powder. So I do go in and build up the amount of powder that I do have on my face. I'm pretty sure you noticed but I didn't do my forehead highlight simply because I want to do my brows first and then highlight and powder the rest of my face.
so I have some remaining concealer on my hand, on the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna apply that on my forehead. That's very light. And I'm gonna apply it on my eyelid, just preparing for everything that's gonna happen there. And I'm gonna apply it to the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna blend, blend that all out quickly. Just a little pro tip, just to make life simple for you after applying concealer, take your beauty blender and some powder, even if it's left of powder, leftover powder, and just dump it all over your eyelid and even eyebrows just to soften them up just a little, just so you are not fighting with your brows. Now my battery dying. Okay, let's wrap this up real quick. So now, at this point, I'm going to take some bronzer. I'm actually going to mix in two bronzers that I have. And... Um, I'm going to bronze my face because I didn't apply some concealer for the bronzing step. I actually have a new bronzer so I'm going to do a review on that also this video not on this video though <laughs> because you know what we need more content so the more the merrier and I'm actually mixing a matte and a, 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 a shimmery bronzer right now, so this is how I am achieving this. I did go ham, I must say, so I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush. Don't worry guys, your foundation brush is your best brain and mine is kind of dry at this point so there's no need to worry. And then I'm going to take some powder, set my forehead and also carve out my cheeks. I'm going to close the shimmery bronzer and take the matte one for my nose. So I've contoured my nose as you can see. I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and a skin tone powder and just press the rest of my face. Just so we get a seamless blend between the bronzer and the highlight and also so there is no harshness and just an extra set. I actually typically do this with um, a dense brush for getting my roots and I'm going to dust off that powder that I was using to cover out the bottom of my face. And at this point, this is where I'm also dusting off my excess powder and making sure it's really well blended. I'm just going to spray my face before I do my eyes. And I'm going to go back in with my sponge. So for blush, I'm going to be using two blushes. Uh, 
resin and a pink blush i'm just gonna mix them together and i'm putting that literally at the transition of my highlight and my under eye powder I'm going to take my bronzer and face powder. My bronzer is definitely darker and I'm taking the matte one and I'm just dumping it on my eyelid. My camera is an actual op right now. That's why this eye is almost done. I'm just waiting for the lash glue to, to dry. But um, like I said, we put bronzer in the on the eyelid and then take your face powder and just blend it into the crease and the edges of where you applied that bronzer. Nothing too serious, nothing too hectic. Even if it doesn't come out perfect, even if you don't get all the product to stick on your eye, it is okay as long as there's a little sum sum there, you know? Yeah. I do want right under my brow bone to be a bit lighter just as this side so I'm gonna take uh, my light skin tone powder and just add it on right there even this side then I'm gonna do a light light sweep generously add that into my inner corner this just elevates the look so much and it looks so gorgeous And I like trying in here, it just makes your eyes look more awake. Also, it looks like you have a, a lighter eyeliner, all of which I don't. I'm not even adding eyeliner to this look because I do not want, um, I just don't want eyeliner. I just feel like it makes the eyes a bit heavy. I like this mascara look. It looks so, so clean. I, I, I dig that vibe when I'm doing this look you know some others might say that this is similar to my um insta baddie makeup look and i guess it is because i'm using bronze but it's not the same it's same same but different As you can see I've added mascara and I kind of like the mascara to be just a bit messy because I feel like it makes the eye pop a little. It looks like you have eyeliner even though you don't and I know I said I don't want eyeliner but the look is definitely completely different as compared to having eyeliner but since this is my version of a quick makeup look you can manipulate it in a way that works out for you and what you prefer most. Also I really like how it's looking. I think another cute thing to do would to tight line with the black liner, which is just adding liner on this part of your eye. I like that light lighting a whole lot better. I told you guys that my lighting is gonna shift. If I change and I see lighting that looks better, that looks makes me more appealing, <clears throat> I'm changing immediately at that. So yeah, this is the final. Look. She's so cute. <laughs> you know what's tragic is that it is 10 past 8 p.m. So I have nowhere to take this face, which is which is very sad, but it's fine, it's fine, that's why YouTube, it's okay. Anyway, so I wrapped up the face because well off camera because my camera battery was dying. So I'm gonna do a wrap up on the foundation and yeah, we're gonna be out of here. So once again, this is the Tante Idol foundation. Shirtwear foundation. Just FYI, I am in the shade 420W. This is the packaging. 
I really love this this piece it makes it look good very very sexy even this bottle and it does come in 30 milliliters just for the people who actually care how much foundation they're getting for the price yeah this is 30 milliliters worth of foundation I really love this foundation like I said I have been using this foundation for months so it is definitely a fave it's not even that I am taking it based off this look alone no based off the past few months this this foundation is definitely too good I love it love it love it love it I also used it on my birthday well the makeup artist I used used it on me on my birthday so definitely the skin was giving the skin lost it all night the skin lasted almost more than 12 hours the foundation definitely eats like it eats and if you want reference to the old foundation maybe you have the new foundation and it's i mean the old foundation and it's running out and you want to get the new one it is quite similar this one is less fragrancy though i must say and like they say it is a whole lot lighter and it's lighter but the consistency is there's a little more solid than the last one was i know that the difference is very 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 tiny but if that matters to you i felt like the other one is quite runny but this one is not as runny but it's not also like moussey texture like it's just it's just runny enough you know uh so yeah uh in, in terms of that also i did have the old one but it broke perfectly but I did love the faces that I created with it, so I'm just going to insert pictures somewhere here, probably here, of me with the old foundation and even comparing to now, it's still, it's still, it's still giving same good quality that Lancome provides. So yeah, I definitely do recommend this foundation, it is my favourite foundation ever. I've tried quite a, quite a number of foundations from a number of brands, but this is by far the best foundation I have tried ever in my life, hands down. So if you want to get onto that, if you believe my word, you know, get onto this foundation. It's pricey, but it's definitely worth it. If you can, I recommend it to the fullest. And just look at the material, guys. I mean, it's me that worked with the foundation. You know, the base is important. And if you're definitely a foundation girly, I think this is gonna work. In your benefit to have like such a good foundation that even all the work that you do on top you're not doing too much because you're already working with a good foundation even like with contouring and all mostly powders the you know the finishing touches to this face you know, just lowered the the lightness and between my lips it was giving a little too much and too sticky but yeah anyway guys if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel happy vlogtober i actually wanted to participate in vlogtober i thought about it in the beginning of september but the way school is set up next year definitely next year we are participating in vlogtober but i do hope that there will be more videos that come out in this month don't forget to follow me on the socials if you do want to see me somewhere else other than youtube because i'm not as consistent here as you can see well life has prevented me from being so consistent i do hope you enjoyed my everyday quick glam and that you will be trying it out very very soon and yeah like I said let me know if you have tried the long coming foundation before whether it is for the makeup artist even if you got the tester or whatnot just let me know if you've tried it before if you've liked it if you've used any other long comb foundations because this is not the only foundation long comb has and yeah she is so cute <laughs> oh, I can't lose. When the